and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Mark Hoffman and today I'm here to take you around a 2011 Pajero Active. A lot to talk about on this car. As you've seen from inquiring on the vehicle, represents exceptional value. So this video is going to be mostly about condition, quality and features of the vehicle. Starting off at the front, the biggest standout feature, obviously we have the factory genuine uh, alloy bull bar on this car. So it doesn't add lots of weight, doesn't affect the handling, but gives you the protection. Say hello to the 930 Pakenham train right there. Um, obviously on top of the factory bullway you do get the rubber lining. It does um, stop some of the blowback from the headlights going back inside. Um, I will get this tidied up. Obviously the previous owner had the, um, the bug shield over the front and uh, left a little bit there. I'll get the service department to remove that. Factory fitted fog lights of course. Coming across, across the front of the car, no signs of major stone chips or anything like that. There's probably one, two, three, four. That's it. A really small amount of stone chips on the vehicle. Very, very impressive for the age. Coming down this driver's side of the vehicle now, you will notice we have put four brand new tyres on this vehicle, road tyres, so nice and quiet, great for the touring trip. As you can see, brand new tyres, you expect heaps of tyre tread in there as well. Coming down the side of the vehicle, no signs of scratch, dents or nicks or anything like that, really good condition here. Side running board, brilliant condition, no marks or scratches. Couple of very, very minor little hairline scratches just behind the door handle here, if I'm brutal. Um, we do have the genuine Mitsubishi weather shields there as well. It does have privacy glass at the back and looks like it has a light tint at the front. It doesn't look very dark, but it does look lightly tinted in this weather. Coming down the back of the vehicle, the back driver's wheel unmarked, no gutter rash, anything like that. Yet again, a brand new tire on the vehicle as well. Coming around to the back of the active now, the new tires has continue. Oh, this one we haven't put on, but it looks like it's never been used. It's still got the little fuzzy things on it. So I'd say brand close to brand new or not used at least anyway. At the back here, we've got a little bit to talk about. Obviously, Pajero, you're looking at this because you're buying a van or a boat generally. This car does have three ton towing and we do have a rear Anderson plug as well as the uh, round tow plug for your trailer. While we're at the back, might as well just open up the tailgate and do the inside of the tailgate while we're here. Open the tailgate nice and easy. If it's a windy day or you live on a hill like myself, pop that little note thing in there and uh, locks it away so it can't shut. In here we've got a little storage nook for all of your mini things. Good to for, put a medical kit in there or a little umbrella, save for those rainy days. In the back here, condition is brilliant actually. Quite often you see a lot of heavy scratching on the black plastics as black shows everything. Some very, very minor scratching throughout, but not much at all, if I'm perfectly honest. Three child seat anchor points across the back, one of which is fitted to the vehicle. Underneath here, we do have the optional third row seating for the Pajero. Can be a seven seater. Pop it up like that, grab that little handle, slide it up. You're a seven seater, nice and easy. Down there, two headrests, pop them on, everyone's comfortable. If you're not wanting the seven seats, pull that cover and that cover off. Two little clips, you can pull this out, you get that storage and the storage there. Or you just keep it versatile and just fold them back in. And then when the grandkids or the children come over for the day, you pop the seat out and use it that way. Or do that, including talking time. It's what, what, 20 seconds to pull it all out and back in again? Not bad. Uh, the rear seats there do roll forward in a 60-40 split, so you can go to Ikea, pick up your Billy bookcase, slide it in there, and off you go. Probably should unlock the door first, shouldn't I? Unlock the door and close. Coming down the passenger side of the vehicle, this is the side we commonly do see damage if there is to be any because of that horrible thing we call a gutter. This rear wheel, none of that unmarked, brilliant condition, brand new tyre yet again. Coming down the side of the vehicle now, no signs of scratches, nicks or anything here. I'm really being picky if there's a couple of tiny little hairline ones just there and I'm being brutal on this car to pick that I reckon. Down the running boards, no damage or scratches. Up to the last wheel, no gutter rash or anything like that. Presents brilliantly and a brand new tyre again. So around to the front of the vehicle again, this car for its age really, really presents quite well. All right, up to the front of the Pajero now. As you can see, we've opened the engine already to have a good look inside here. You are looking at a bit of a rare one here, but um, it's got what you're looking at there, sorry for at the moment there, 3.2 litre turbo, turbo diesel four cylinder. It's going to give you 147 kilowatts of power, 441 newton meters of torque, combined through a very rare but desirable five speed manual option. Out of this big car, you're going to get an average of 8.5 four litres to the hundred on the average driving range. But before we go, that's going to give you about a thousand kilometres of driving range. We'll notice down here is fitted with the dual battery kit to power the um, the uh, uh, Anderson plug at the back and an electronic brake controller. Right, inside the Pajero now in such a comfortable place to be. 
Now these Pajeros are designed to tow all around Australia. The further north you go, the more of them you see throughout Australia just towing caravans and they're known for it because they're so comfortable to use. Start at the steering wheel here, brilliant steering wheel to hold on to, nice leather wrap with good black stitching on it as well. No signs of mark scratches on Nick's at all. Little handle under here, pop that down. Do have height adjustment on the Pajero, so I usually set it just to the top and, in, and make it easy to get in and out of the car. Right hand side, cruise control, down the bottom, Bluetooth phone, voice control. Left side, media control for volume, station and mode. On the left side, we've got our front and rear wipers, of course. On the right side, we've got our headlights and indicators. Up in the center there, we've got our speedo tachometer and a little four-wheel drive menu there telling you which um, setting of the four-wheel drive you are in. Below that, car is currently showing 127,800 kilometers on the vehicle at the moment. Excuse me. Coming down the side of the car, you'll see down the side of the steering wheel now, you see we have two factory fitted keys to the vehicle. We do have our mirror controls there. Fold them in. Nice for car parks, a little known trick with the Pajeros, hit the lock button on the remote three times, mirrors will fold in, unlock three times, mirrors will fold out again. Quite useful actually. Front fog light for when it's foggy, rear fog light if you're driving in the snow or something like that. Um, down here we have our four door power windows as well as a little button there to stop the cameraman playing with them and a door lock button of course if you're driving somewhere undesirable. One thing to note is big car, um, for the height challenged among us the uh, handle there makes getting in and out of the car a lot easier, it does have one of the six airbags in the vehicle, dual front, dual side, dual side curtain as well. We'll go across and into the centre now. In the centre here we have our trip computer, we're showing all sorts of fun stuff. Currently 9.50 and it's a warm 8 degrees here in Berwick at the moment, we're currently heading south and the outside temperature for the last four hours of car driving, it's like car time, like dog years, not real time, has been that. You can also adjust it, elevation, uh, barometer, the date, the uh, off, and then fuel economy and things like that as well. So nice little functions there. Down from there we have the MMCS system fitted to this vehicle, a big upgrade from the single slot DVD unit you get in most of the cars. Little hit, I agree there. Currently showing our super secret location here at 20-32 Kangan Drive. Now, navigation system, very, very easy to use. You've got your destination button, type in where you want to go all around Australia and head off on your next journey. Of course, you do have your mode button there. You can switch through AM, FM, video, and audio here. We've got it currently turned off. Oh, no, we don't. It's on again. How do I turn you? We might want to turn him down a little bit. Don't listen to too many tunes while we're doing these videos. Anyway, moving down. Um, we have our climate control here, obviously automatic, you can set how hot, how cold you want it, where you want it, and how much fan you want of course. Below there, little nook for your things and also business card, very Japanese. Down from there, little button there, obviously useful if you were fit a little light bar or something into the front of the vehicle, you put rocker switch there. Um, little blank, little 12 volt socket hidden away in the little cubby hole there. We'll keep going across to here. Uh, stability control off and on, it can be useful off road to actually have that off sometimes. Two more blanks if you were to fit some more options. Now here's the thing that's probably made you inquire on this vehicle. As I said before, rare and desirable. Very rare to find a manual transmission in a Pajero. You get the confidence and stability off-road with this and great fuel economy out of better fuel economy in the manual. Five-speed manual, of course, really, really slick shift, quite easy to use actually, a good motion on it as well. Slick it into reverse and you'll see we get a nice reverse camera there. If we were to put the tow bar in, really easy to line up the trailer with that one as well. Pop it back into neutral so we don't go anywhere. On the left here we have our four-wheel drive system. Too high, it's where you're going to leave it most of the time. Four high, of course, you can use that on wet roads or dirt, things like that, get a bit more stability and traction. And then up a bit further from there, that's you using paddocks and things, four high locked centre. Basically your four-wheel drive trails where you don't want to be in low range though, you want a bit more speed. Four low locked centre though is where if you're getting into the rough stuff and you need to crawl over some obstacles. Coming back from there, two decent sized cup holders, centre console, nice condition cloth, no marks of wear or anything like that button there brings it forward so it's a nice armrest, bring it back, little button there opens it up to a little carpeted cubby hole for your phone, drop that down over to the next one, big cubby hole there with a 12 volt socket there to charge your phone. Going to get my camera to zoom around the interior now and you'll see the interior trim presents really really good condition, sort of a micro suede material actually, driver's seat presents the same as this one. We do have floor mats fitted both front and rear Pajero genuine ones of course. Now throughout the interior, rear seats present brilliantly as well. Roof lining has a couple of little marks on it, but nothing major. And one thing to note, the smell of the vehicle is quite nice actually at the moment. Um, coming back to the front now, service books. Now I did notice that the front of the car had Barrett Mitsubishi plates on it, but they were a little bit yellowed. That gives me the idea that this car 
was originally sold by us as well. That's a good story to have. And originally sold by a human to a, a actual person, not a company or anything like that. It's a bit cold. Let's get through to the books now. Has had the injector service done, which is good to see. Uh, originally serviced by us, 15. Then we've got the 30, the 45, the 60, the 75. Um, change gearbox transfer and diff oils as well. Nice note. I like what the mechanic notes that. Um, serviced at the 90, serviced at the 105, and then serviced by us again at 127 when we brought it into stock for its roadworthy mechanical check. So this car is ready to go. Thank you for watching this video walk around tour of our Pajero. As you've seen, brilliant condition on the outside with that iron bark paint, good ball bar at the front, good touring options all the way around it, brilliant condition inside with the navigation and every option you want, and full service history as well. This is definitely a Pajero you have to consider for yourself. Do give us a call, 9907. 0555, but wait, before you go, don't forget to ask your salesperson about a five year mechanical protection plan this car does qualify for, which now includes 10 years of nationwide roadside assist. That number again, 9907 0555, and thank you for watching.